I'm very healthy. I eat carefully. I've got a lot of energy, and I've always had that mm. physical energy yes. and mental curiosity. Meet the remarkable Barbara Taylor Bradford, a beloved British American novelist who continues to enchant readers at the age of 90. Born in 1933, she exudes a timeless radiance, always vibrant and polished, defying the years with grace. In 1979, she gifted the world with her iconic debut novel, A Woman of Substance. A Woman of Substance. Can you believe it's still selling? Amazing. How many copies has that sold, A Woman of Substance? Uh, about 35 million. This was just the beginning of her awe-inspiring journey, as she has since penned an astounding 39 novels, each one a resounding bestseller in both England and the United States. With unwavering dedication, she maintains her writing routine, continuing to inspire readers worldwide. In 2020, she unveiled In the Lion's Den. Let's take the current book, In the Lion's Den. Followed by A Man of Honor in 2021, testaments to her unwavering creativity and passion. A steadfast believer that age is just a number, Barbara embraces life with the spirit of a youthful heart. In her 70s, she famously proclaimed, What's a number? I feel 30 inside. Even at age 81, she declared with a twinkle in her eye that she feels 49, a testament to her unyielding zest for life. So, how does she maintain her enchanting peaches and cream appearance? Her secret lies not only in good genes but in conscientiously caring for herself. In this video, she reveals 5 secrets to staying youthful, along with her top 5 choice of foods and 3 she tries to limit. Self-care mindset. In her own words, it's true some of us don't wear as well as others but I work at it. I do it for myself and I like to look nice for my husband, who sadly passed away in 2019 after 56 years of marriage. I felt I'd had half of me taken away. I look after myself. I don't take pills other than vitamins. I look after my skin. I always take off my makeup at night. I use various creams on my face and I do have Botox in my forehead. I like to see people who are well groomed. Other people respond to you better if you are looking neat and well turned out. You know, I hate people when they say, oh, why are you so dressed up? I say, no, I'm not dressed up. I'm the way I've always dressed. Good sleep. Barbara is a great believer in sleep. She is usually in bed by 10 or 11 p.m. If she is writing a book, she will be up at 6 a.m. the next day. If she is not writing, it will be more like 7 a.m. Acknowledging the importance of self-care, she takes a brief respite at noon for a nourishing snack before diving back into her writing endeavors, dedicating her focus until 4 p.m. Quality sleep becomes crucial for cognitive function, memory consolidation, and emotional well-being. Seniors who prioritize good sleep often experience improved immune function, reduced risk of chronic diseases, and better overall physical and mental health. A restful night's sleep offers the opportunity for the body to repair and recharge, allowing seniors to wake up feeling refreshed and ready to embrace the day with renewed energy. Exercise As for exercise I bought a book called, Get Up, by a doctor and it frightened me because it says sitting down is very bad for you and of course I sit down all day writing. So now I go out for a walk every day and I eat my lunch standing up. While she works, at every hour, she has a break and does some walking. Sitting for long periods is thought to slow the metabolism, which affects the body's ability to regulate blood sugar, blood pressure, and break down body fat. So, let's get up and move our legs. Food. Barbara has always been a careful eater. She needs to be disciplined about what she eats as she mainly sits down to do her work. The good thing is that she doesn't have a big appetite. I um, eat carefully, I don't drink much, I like a glass of champagne. Here are her top five foods that keep her mind active and sharp. Coffee. The day starts with coffee for Barbara. And you may wonder, is coffee truly a healthy choice, especially for seniors? The resounding answer is yes. Coffee is found to be a more potent source of antioxidants than green tea and cocoa. Antioxidants get rid of free radicals that damage the cells and may reduce risk to many diseases like cancer, heart disease, and macular degeneration. Caffeine in coffee stimulates the release of certain hormones in your body to reduce feelings of tiredness and replace it with vigor. Caffeine may enhance memory and brain activity. But please remember that moderate consumption is key as you don't want your body to become tolerant to caffeine. Fish Barbara adores fish as her primary source of protein. She delights in cooking a diverse array of fresh fish, including sole, sea bass, haddock, cod, and plaice. These whitefish varieties boast remarkably low fat content and exceptionally high protein levels. Rich in vitamin B6, they combat inflammation in the body, offering relief from conditions like asthma and arthritis. 
Vitamin B3, found abundantly in white fish, fortifies the immune system and facilitates faster recovery from infections. Moreover, the phosphorus present in white fish plays a pivotal role in maintaining robust bone structure and density, staving off ailments like osteoporosis. Embracing the essence of a balanced diet, Barbara revels in the essential vitamin B12 provided by white fish, promoting healthy nervous system function and vibrant blood cells. Indeed, white fish is an ally in maintaining cholesterol levels, as it boasts low LDL cholesterol, the infamous bad cholesterol. While she occasionally enjoys fish and chips during dining outings, her preference lies in the joy of cooking and eating at home. When preparing fish, she employs healthier cooking methods like baking or sautéing with just a touch of butter, ensuring that the flavors shine while maintaining a nourishing meal. Steamed Green Vegetables As a golden rule, it's ideal to minimize cooking time, temperature, and liquid when preparing meals. Hence, steaming stands out as one of the finest techniques for cooking vegetables, a preference shared by Barbara. She pairs steamed green vegetables as a delightful side dish to complement her fish. In a 2009 study, researchers compared five popular broccoli preparation methods, boiling, microwaving, steaming, stir-frying, and stir-frying slash boiling. The findings revealed that steaming retained the highest levels of nutrients, making it a top choice for preserving the nutritional value of vegetables. Seasonal Fruits Barbara shared that it is easy for her to put on weight quickly if not careful. So, she rarely eats desserts. Instead, throughout the day, as snack, she enjoys having fresh fruits, blueberries, strawberries, and cherries when they're in season. She also enjoys apples or bananas. Lamb Despite being not too into red meat, there is one exception when it comes to winter time. Barbara's mother was an excellent cook and she served her family with lamb stew in winter time during the war. Honoring those precious moments, she lovingly replicates the same recipe in her own home. Liquidy, slow-cooked things are good for her because, if she's in the middle of a book, she has a habit of burning pans because she always wanders back to her office. She follows her mother's recipe using shoulder and neck cuts from the butcher, and rolls the meat in flour, then saute it to seal in the flavor. Due to its rich saturated fat, lamb may not be an everyday choice but this red meat contains essential minerals and vitamins such as iron, zinc, and vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is important for blood formation and brain function. Zinc is essential for growth and formation of hormones such as insulin. Iron is crucial for red blood cell production, immune function, and energy production. To enhance her lamb stew, Barbara enriches it with chicken broth from the same butcher. By adding carrots, onion, and a bouquet garni, she elevates the nutritional and taste profile of the chicken broth. Did you know that chicken broth, not the powder one, is rich in a range of nutrients, including calcium and magnesium, as well as building blocks of cartilage and tendon? This golden liquid is a good hearty basis for a soup or stew. In winter, enjoying soup is a great way to stay warm, reduce calories and maintain nutritional intake. Now, let's quickly talk about the food that she tries to avoid. First, we mentioned that she avoids desserts. By steering clear of sugary treats, she significantly reduces the risk of various health complications, including type 2 diabetes, cancer, cardiovascular disease, chronic inflammation, obesity, and premature aging. Second, she is mindful of salt consumption, opting to avoid it entirely when cooking at home. A high salt intake over time can raise blood pressure, which increases the risk of having a heart attack or stroke. However, blood pressure increases with age and so as you get older it is important to keep salt intake as low as possible to help ensure your blood pressure stays within a healthy range. Lastly, as she is a careful eater who understands that her body can gain weight very quickly, she minimizes the intake of carbs such as potatoes. While complex carbon in potatoes can be good for health, a healthy low-carb diet may help control weight which in turn can have a positive effect on the body. Apart from maintaining a healthy and balanced diet, Barbara diligently upholds healthy habits. Not inclined to indulge in excessive drinking, she occasionally savors a glass of champagne. And I always say people who don't read newspapers and don't go out to movies who are getting older, mm. um, they just fade away. And when you retire, you die. With her self-care healthy mindset, Barbara's mind is just as sharp as ever. She has no plan to retire.